So for our thrive presentation, we had the life of a Madagascar hissing cockroach. All right, so our objectives. One of our objectives was uh, design our animals enclosure. And then another one of our objectives was we wanted to determine the feeding requirements that were needed. And we all, wanted to do all the husbandry required in, in outside of class to take care of and watching over the cockroaches. All right. So what we did, uh, we designed our enclosures. We had two di different enclosures for each of the test subject groups. Um, um, each, was, each group was a feeding group. So one group was fed vegetables and the other group was fed vet, uh, fruits. Uh, there was three males and three females in each tank. And we checked on them and refed them and watered them every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Um, we put fresh food in, and then once we went to check on them on those specific days, we measured what food was left over, and then we also watered them. So. All right, so our hypotheses. Uh, basically, we thought that the cockroaches would like the fruits, which was our bananas more, um, more than they would like the carrots, which was the vegetable we decided to use. Um, so overall, we thought fruits more than veggies, but in this case, more specifically, bananas over carrots. So what we measured is overall, we put about 20 grams of either carrots or bananas in each of the designated enclosures. Um, we put roughly 20 grams, so it was like 20.01 or 20.1. So it was never exactly 20 grams. And then we waited to the next time, um, for the next time to check and feed water um, to the roaches and measured the weight of the food from each tank that was left. So when we would go check on them, we would take the food out, try and clean them off as best as possible and reweigh them. And then we recorded the weight of the leftovers that was put in. And then our goal was to see how much food the roaches ate to determine whether they would prefer the fruit or vegetables. Alright, so the observation and notes. So, to start, there was hypothetical uh, escapees <laughs> that, that occurred in this experiment. And also, as you see in the picture, there was, we witnessed a live birth, but the baby was not live, it was dead. And uh, we also know that they like rocks, they like moving over the rocks. And uh, one of them liked climbing, climbing the tank. And uh, they also liked the moldy bananas for some reason and the dehydration in the carrots. And we used apples and potatoes the first day, but then changed it to bananas and carrots. So from our results, out of the 10 times we w measured how much food was left over, we averaged roughly about 8.43 grams of bananas left over. Uh, and then our average for the carrots was 10.78 grams out of all the 10 trials. And then here we can see our expected co consumption of fruits and veggies. We have our blue line right here, which represents our bananas, and then our carrots, which represent the red line, and out of the grams of food left, and then the days that we measured them. All right, so our discussion, kind of like what we observed, basically, our hypothesis is supported because the bananas um, were just over eight grams left each week, while the carrots were just over 10 grams left each week. Um, and while it doesn't seem like a very significant difference, the bananas also had mold on them, which we tried to clear off, but didn't always work. They also had a lot of dirt on them, which definitely added weight. We also tried to clear that off, but weren't always successful. Um, so two grams in the case of 20 was significant enough to support our hypothesis. And then finally, things that went wrong or things that uh, change, like we would change if we were to do it again um, is the hypothetical of the cockroaches leaving. It's not necessarily a hypothetical if it actually happened. Um, and then the water weight of the fruits and veggies, because after being left out even for a day or a certain amount of hours, they get a little bit dehydrated and you lose that water weight that's on it. Um, so that's a big possibility for some of the weight loss, especially with like the carrots. And then another issue is the dirt was getting stuck to the bananas, so we would try our best to get as much of it off and then weigh it, but there's always the possibility that we miss some of it. 
and this was our presentation, so thank you for listening. Ha, ha, ha.